I just felt like I had kind of a second chance at life because I had that diagnosis. My symptoms were really severe since I was 13, but then it kind of really magnified just before I turned 25. When I was at school, it really impacted me. I was um, constantly nauseous, throwing up, couldn't keep food down for weeks. I was constantly going to the bathroom. It had a really big impact on my mental health. It also affects your social life because I'll make plans to do things and all of a sudden I have to drop out because my symptoms out, out of nowhere crop up. They hospitalised me for about four days. They did an endoscopy, took a biopsy and then they diagnosed me with celiac disease and it was a relief because I finally knew what was going on. I felt like I had more energy, I was able to do more things. I had more time to spend with family and friends rather than being stuck in bed in pain or in and out of hospital or going to appointments. I had to follow a new diet. In one way, it kind of reignited my passion for cooking. My mum worked very hard with me because I love rotlis, which are chapatis. I love it. But to make that gluten-free is so hard and together we've done so many takes on it, but we've perfected the gluten-free chapati. And it's just the love that goes into it. It just makes it so much better. First things first, seek medical advice from a professional. I would recommend going to the Celiac UK website. There is a self-assessment tool on there and the results will indicate what next steps to take, whether to go to your GP to get tested for celiac disease.